Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equations. So we have to solve this, looks like a Lagrange's method question. So because this is of the form PP plus QQ equals to R. So you can identify what is the capital P, the coefficient of small p which is 1, your capital Q is 3 and your capital R is 5z let's like the auxiliary equation which will be dx by p equals to dy by q equals to dz by y minus 3x. Now method of grouping is working fine with the first two. Method of grouping tells that simply equate them and get an equation. So dx by 1 equals to dy by 3. Simply integrate them. You are getting x from this side and y by 3 from the other side plus c1. So you are getting 3x minus y three x minus y equals to three c one fine. So in case in order to replace this, I need y minus three x. So let's make adjustment here only. So if I want to write y minus three x, that will be minus three c one, and this three c one let's name this as c two. So I can name this as C2. So y minus 3x is C2 which you can name this as u also. So there you get the first equation. Mark this as 1. For the second one, let's see method of grouping is still working or not. First, uh, take 1 from the first two. So the simpler one is first one. So I'm taking the first one. And take the third one because I know that I can simplify this because this is 5z plus 10 of y minus 3x is c2. c2 is a constant. So you can now integrate this. Fine. Now let's see. Tan c2 here is a constant. Okay. So you don't think of uh, treat this as a constant. Treat this is as 1 upon uh, ax plus b similar okay so just integrate this both side so yeah there you get x from this side here 1 upon linear so 1 upon linear is log 5z plus 10 c2 divided by coefficient of z because you are doing with respect to z so coefficient of z should be there simply differentiate this denominator okay so you would be getting derivative of this part is 0 derivative of this part will give you uh, 5 simply write this here okay there you go you wrote this part and this is equal to 5 so what as we can do uh, equals uh, sorry uh, plus a law constant will also come so what should I do with that constant uh, let's write that as log of c3 because c1 c2 I have already used so x 5x rather equals to log base e is there 5z plus 10 c2 or 
C2 also now I can replace as y minus 3 because dangerous thing I have done already. Fine. Plus log C3 5 times. Now, now, now what I can do? Okay. 5x depending on what sort of answers I am getting the answer they are giving is uh, y minus 3x equals to e power 5x divided by 5z plus 10 okay So my answer is looking a bit different, constant should always come there, so 5x, uh, e power 5x, so if I write this 5x, I take this 5 log c3 to the other side, this equals to, but both side log term should be present, no matter, log base e, 5z plus 10, y minus 3x, now I can remove log from this side so this side becomes uh, e power 5x minus uh, 5 log c3 I know how to treat with them okay let's see 5z plus 10 y minus 3x fine so i can write this as e power 5x divided by e power 5 log c3 equals to 5z plus 10 y minus 3x so e power 5x is fine this entire thing e power this thing if you want you can simplify this you can write this as e power 5 you can take to the power so log c3 power 5 and now this gives simply c3 power 5 go as complex as you can go and c3 power 5 and here the constant c4 no problem so you are getting e power 5x divided by c4 equals to 5z plus 10 y minus 3x look where i have reached and i think i am near to that solution which they are giving because e power 5x divided by something and then now I can simply send the c4 to the other side. So e power 5x divided by uh, 5z plus 10 y minus 3x c4 also I can take this as well. So there you go final solution as they keep on telling. Phi of first function is equals to second function. Phi of other function equals to first function. Or phi of u comma v equals to. These are the three things we write. So phi of simpler function was. Y minus 3x. Equals to the other one which is.
there you go i got my final answer as this so just to simplify and bring that to whatever solution uh, answer was given in the textbook it took some time otherwise this was not that difficult task until and unless we know the concepts we are going to end up right so this is pp plus qq equals to r we know what is p q and r method of grouping is working for the first equation for the second one also because this y minus 3x can be replaced as c2 this becomes constant 1 upon constant you know how to integrate now then comes the difficult part of the problem which is to simplify and keep on simplifying as much as you can you know a power m minus n is nothing but a power m divided by a power n and also the, here i used this property a power log x to the base a is if it is there this you will end up getting x and constant are constant if constant is c4 under root you can always name this as c5 okay so that is truly on your side because at the end you are not going to show the, them the constant so that's why so that's it from my side for more such problem you can always visit my playlist of partial differential equation for more such similar problems thanks and uh, have a nice day again thanks for sustaining this uh, lecture send this to your friend so that he or she can also learn something from this thanks again